Once we have our tablet with our or our phone with the AccuSet program on and we've got our ECU installed and connected to the ISO power plug, we can now initiate setting up the ECU. So we want to touch the AccuSet icon on the screen which is going to open the app. When it opens up you're going to get a connect to drill at the top. No drills available is going to be displayed on the screen and you can press scan. When you touch scan, so it did the scan and it found the ECU. The ECU is displaying the serial number that's listed on the actual ECU on the little serial number tag. So to connect to this ECU, you just simply press the button that's available. So it's the 44236 BIC-0007. Touch on it, it's going to automatically start trying to hook to this. It's going to come up, it's going to say drill not calibrated. To begin operation you must run a calibration routine by tapping the menu below. The other thing you want to make sure when you're doing this for the first time is that you're hooked to a Wi-Fi signal. Whether it's a hotspot off your phone or if you're in a yard or close to a shop that has a Wi-Fi signal, you need your device connected to the Wi-Fi signal in order to get the error codes to come up. So we should get an error code right now that tells us that we do not have the unit configured. So the configuration has to be done before we calibrate it so that it calibrates correctly for the type of machine we're using. To configure your drill, you're gonna to wanna to press the menu tab. So along the bottom, there's a menu button. Touch on it. You're gonna come up with the tools menu. We're gonna look for drill configuration. We're just gonna to touch on that line. From this line, now you're going to touch on edit, and then we're going to put the current drill model and the current, current opener type for this ECU in here. So we're going to go into the edit mode. You'll notice for the purposes of the video alone that we already have current drill and opener types in there. We just swapped to an existing ECU so that we didn't configure a new one. So in order to change it, press the edit button. Now it's going to come up, it's going to ask you to select the drill model that you have. So just touch on where it says select drill model. It's going to give you four options. You've got 3320, 50 to 86, 3320, 30 to 40, 33x, 50 to 86, 33x, 30 to 40. This drill that we're configuring is a 33, 35, 76 foot. So we're going to select the 33x, 50 to 86. The next it's going to ask you to select the opener type. Select that. You've got PLS, so that would be a 3335. PLX is a 3335 without banders. The PLS can have banders. PLDS, that's a dual shank machine. That can be with or without banders. And then the PLX with mid row banders. The reason we have two for the PLX is with the mid row banders you're changing the height differently for the front of the machine as you are for the openers to get the differential. So this one's a PLX with mid row banders so that's what we're going to select next. Once you have your opener type selected and your drill press the save button. Now we can go back by pressing the arrow in the top left corner beside drill configuration and also menu and it's going to take us to our screen. Once your drill configuration has been completed we can then go and do the calibration. We're going to touch on the calibrate button and then it's going to come up and it's going to give you a screen that says system calibration. Please confirm area around the implement is clear so make sure there's nobody around the machine. Then just press start calibration and it's going to start going through. Depending on the flow and the pressure of your tractor is going to depend on how long this takes as it has to fully cycle through one complete raise and one complete lower in order to get the end points for the cylinder. It will time out after six minutes if the oil flow isn't there and then you will have to start over again.
once your drill has completed calibration it'll go back it'll open up the operations page for this one that we've configured we've got the fertilizer level which is for the banders and we've got the seed level which is for the seed openers that's a PLX with mid row banders configuration now that we have it set up now that you can touch shallower or deeper and it'll adjust your levels and the machine will start to go up and down depending on what you've configured you'll notice on the PLX with mid row banders you've got little yellow half arrows on each side that's your limits for the depth setting you're at for your banders or your openers so depending on what what depth you're trying to get with your banders may limit what you can do with your openers same thing goes for your banders so the yellows are your limits and you'll notice here if I change to deeper on my seed levels you're going to notice that the yellow arrows are moving around on the fertilizer and that's changing my limit of how shallow or how deep I can go with that so one of the tests to do once you've got it calibrated is press on the transport it's going to give you two options you're going to have the high position and you're going to have the low position this tests whether they go all the way up and all the way down so press the high it's going to come up on the screen it's going to say transport mode engaged it's going to start to raise all of the cylinders it's going to raise them as high as they can go so it'll stroke them right out you can just walk around the drill quickly and check to make sure that they all extended then to exit the transport mode just touch transport again hit ex exit transport mode then you'll notice that the drill is going to settle back to the last position it was on before you went into transport mode now you can also check transport low so touch transport again the low position and that's now going to drop down and it's going to drop the cylinders all the way until they sit on the permanent red shims in each location those red shims once again are for leveling once it's all the way to the bottom press transport again exit transport mode And your drill is going to try and get itself back to where it was when you went into that transport mode it's going to reset itself so the last position same thing as if you lose contact or connectivity with your device you're using to control it's always going to go to the last setting that was used in that monitor 